In this video, we'll look at how to calculate the instantaneous rate of change, or IROC, on a polynomial function. So the question says, find the IROC of y equals x to the power 4 minus 2, x to the power 3 minus 7 at x equals 5. Well, we start with our IROC equation. The equation we're using is IROC equals f at x plus h minus f at x all over h. And we're going to use a small value for h. That's how we get our instantaneous rate of change approximation. Our small value will be h is 0 0.001. And we're trying to find the rate of change at 5. So we want to know what's the value at 5 plus a tiny little bit, 0 0.001 minus what's the value at 5, and that small interval will give us a nice approximation of the rate of change. And on the bottom is just our h value, 0 0.001. So, on the side, we want to calculate what's the value of the function at f equals 5. That is, we want to know what's 5 to the power of 4 minus 2 times 5 to the power of 3 minus 7. So, we'll take out a calculator and we'll calculate 5 to the power of 4 625 minus 2 times 5 to the power of 3 you might be able to do that in your head 125 minus 7 and now let's calculate all that at once that's a lot for showing our work let's do that, take away 7 and we get 368 so the value of the function at x equals 5 is 368 now we want to calculate what's the value of the function at 5.001. If it helps, 5 plus 0 0.001 is just 5.001. That's the next value we want to calculate. What's the value of this function just a little bit past 5? So we're going to do the same sort of work. We'll calculate f at 5.001, which is just 5.001 to the power of 4 minus 2 times 5.001 to the power of 3 minus 7. Let's use our trusty calculator. 5.001 oh, to the power of 4. You get 6, 2, 5. Now it might not seem obvious because the calculator didn't fill up the digits, but believe me, it rounded. When you have a power of 4 on three decimal places, you should end up with 12 decimal places. The calculator definitely rounded, so we need a rounding dot. Minus 2 times, what's 5.001 to the power of 3? Same thing. Oh, going to need more space, though. Calculator definitely rounded here. 125.075015. Take away 7. And now let's compute that all at once. 625.50015 minus 2 times 125.075015. Take away 7. And we're pretty sure we're doing it right because we got a number very similar to f at 5, right? This is only 1 1,000th one of an x value past this one, so they should be very similar, and they are. And we get. 368.35012. Okay. So now when we go to calculate the IROC value, we take the value of f at 5.001, which was 368.35012, and we subtract the value of f at 5, 368, all over 0 0.001. And we can do that all at once on our calculator. What's 368? Might be obvious to you what that subtraction is going to work out to be. Take away 368 obviously just leaves the decimal. And then divide by 0 0.001. You can just move the decimal three places. And we get 350.12. Therefore, at x equals 5, the instantaneous rate of change is 350. That means at x equals 5, this function is very, very steep. It has a slope, or a rate of change, at x equals 5 of 350.12. And that's how you find the instantaneous rate of change 
on a polynomial function.